Okay, we're going to learn how to do synchronizing of a bunch of clips automatically and then multicam editing with a lot less resources. So I got all these four different cameras I used here and a board recorder. I just selected all of them. So I selected all of these except for this multicam clip I already made. I'm going to right click and do new multicam clip. I usually just name it a number too. Then this next step takes a while. So I'm going to hit stop because I already did this earlier. Here's my multicam clip right here. It's, I just named it number one. Once I open this, I gotta give it a bunch of space and see how it went. Some cameras don't do this very well if they lag at all. Phones especially if they weren't on airplane mode. So these cameras all synced up pretty well except for these two audio things. This top one is mics. This bottom one was uh, audio coming in from a mixer. And it looks like that audio cut off right here. This is a continuation of this file. And this is a continuation of this one. It didn't sync it up because, see, there's no audio there after that point. So we're going to ignore that one. I'm just going to delete it for now. These two here uh, didn't sync up right. I can tell they're the same length as this one here. So they probably go. I checked earlier, they do. So we're going to grab those separately. So I'm going to delete these two right now and get them out of the way and grab everything else from here on because this all synchronized. Then I'm just going to copy it out of here. You could use it in here and do multicam editing, but it's a bit resource intensive. What I like to do is instead select these all, do a command C and copy. Then I go back to this project I made. This is just an empty project I named number one. I do command V and these all paste in here. But it does it in these little mini timeline things. I don't know what they're called. I don't like them. So I do command A. That is select all. And then this neat little trick, get ready for this. Command option up. Again, that's command option up and it rips all of them. That's the up arrow, command option, and then the up arrow. It rips them all out of those little timeline things. So then you can just edit these like any old clips on top of each other and multicam edit that way. What do you do to get rid of all the volume? You select all these ones that are uh, camera clips, go to the inspector here where I'm pointing, then the volume here, and just drag the volume all the way down. And then you'll hear only the audio you want to. Here we got. This song's called 9 to 5. Late for dinner here. Las Vegas, so far. We've got some Hassan Hamilton. So, that's it. I, you can see I have only microphones here and not uh, the board audio here. If you zoom in, say you want to see this clip, if you press B, you get a knife, and it's great for scrubbing, so you can find what part of this bottom clip you want, then you can cut away this top one by clicking that, then clicking A, then you can drag away this top one here and see where you've got a nice edit between the two. So I'm going to put that back. But what about those ones we missed before? So you can do this again. You can make a new project. I'm going to do Command N. We can do the same thing with those uh, little ones that we missed. See this one and this one. And then if we go back to this clip here, we can see what it was called, the ones we missed. 42 and number 3 over here. So I'm going to go up here and grab clip 42 and 3. And I'm going to grab these two here. I'm going to do it again. New multicam clip 2. This one's going to go quick because it's just four clips and synchronizing. And that'll let me get those two rogue audio fellows over here synchronized with these two clips. Okay, now I've got this new multicam clip, number two. They synced just fine. Command A, Command A. Now we're all selected. Command C. See, they all turned yellow. Going back to my project number two here. Command V. Here's another trick, super important. Shift Z. That's how 
you see me zoom in, and then all of a sudden get a whole view of the whole thing, shift Z. So there's your bonus tip for sticking in to watch this happen again and again. Command option up. There, we've got it. If you want to put one of these on top of the other one, make sure your magnetic thing is turned on over there. And then your magnet to that one. Select this clip and hit M. That puts a marker right there. Now when I drag this one up there, it lines up with that marker and I don't lose my sync. Super important. Okay, that's it.